Greetings everybody, it's your old pal Frank here, and happy Saturday, and welcome to my day three uh, Toronto Sports Card Expo Hall, whatever you want to call it. All I know is today, today I did some damage, not money-wise, but more in quantity-wise. So, first things first, um... I I was walking by the uh, the uh, eBay booth and uh, well they gave me a free pack of 21 22 series one hockey as you can see the pack is already open because uh, at the time that I'm filming this uh, I just got off a awesome three-hour live stream uh, with the likes of uh, the Autograph Fisherman, John Burgess, uh, Canadian Card Breakers, Brendan Jensen, and uh, we had a we had a rip roar in old time. I'm sure a lot of you watching this probably caught that live stream, and so probably a lot of you know that uh, I I busted this pack open. And pulled this uh, green Kyle Connor Dazzlers, so that's that's how we're kicking this video off. Uh, next, I stopped by the uh, Ultra Pro uh, booth, and they were giving out these uh, little like scratch cards, and uh, basically they were going to do a break, or they were doing breaks all day, and. Uh, if you scrap, scratch the card and it had an NHL team on it, whatever cards were pulled during the break, you would get those cards of that team. Now I scratched mine and I did not get a team, so I was not able to partake in the break, but I got myself a free uh, puck display. So that's pretty cool. Now uh, when the expo comes back in uh, November, I could bring this case with me and I don't have to fork out six bucks. <laughs> then I stopped by the Beckett booth and got my free Beckett magazine. So I look forward to uh, giving this a read, especially the uh, tribute to Mike Bossy. Uh, let's see, what's next, what's next, um, okay, well, I did get an autograph today, now, my, my game plan today was to get the big M, Frank Mahovlich, now unfortunately, I found out, once I got to the, uh, the Ultra Pro, booth that where, where you take care of getting your autograph and everything that Frank Mahovlich's autograph was a hundred bucks and I only had a $75 voucher <laughs> so I was basically asking the guy I'm like well who's signing today where this voucher will cover everything and he was telling me he goes well uh, Doug Gilmore signing today and you could get everything covered with your voucher with him and I was like awesome sounds cool so got myself a Habs puck signed by a killer himself and uh, he even inscribed it for free so uh, can't go wrong there I think it's because I uh, I, I kind of got him to chuckle about when I brought up the uh, the uh, the incident where uh, he went to the uh, penalty box and he slammed the door and then the glass shattered all over the place. He, he got a laugh out of that, so maybe that's why he put the inscription. I don't know. But still, hey, Doug Gilmore, man. Can't go wrong there. So that's that. Then uh, I met up with uh, Dr. Exclusive Sports Guards from uh, Instagram. And we did a little trade. Uh, he saw recently that I pulled a, uh, I believe it was the, was it green or was it orange? Uh, 
I think it's the orange uh, Sidney Crosby Dazzler. And he's he's a Sidney Crosby collector, along with uh, Mario Lemieux. And um, he asked if I was interested in trading it. And I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. So uh, he... He offered up a bunch of stuff, including this 1617 Series 1 tin. So that's from uh, Matthew's uh, rookie season. And um, so basically, for that, uh, that orange Crosby Dazzler, we got ourselves a 2020-21 Overtime Wave 1 pack. We got, oh, we got some jumbos in here. Look at this. We got a Patrick Kane Winter Classic. Uh, we got who that? Tory Krug Winter Classic. Louis Erickson, and we got a jumbo of Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Man, remember? When you used to be able to get jumbo cards? Ah, wasn't that something? <laughs> so we got four jumbo cards. And we got a little stack here. This one right off the bat. Like, come on. Gila Fleur. Retired canvas. Hello. Evander Kane. Tyler Bozak. Ben Bishop, Joe Pavelski, Jonathan Huberto. And look at that. We even got a Emil Larmy Young Gun. And we got a Yuso Velamaki. So, so I got all that for trading for one um, Crosby Dazzler. And I was like, no, come on, man. You're giving me all this, and I'm giving you one card? So I was like, no. Nah. So uh, before, before I came out here, uh, I looked, and I, I had a couple other Crosby cards, and I was like, no, nah, here you go, man. But I think the one he really liked was that blue prism. <laughs> he top-loaded that sucker right away. And that made me happy. Anytime I can help with someone's PC makes me happy so and uh hey what do you say should we open this overtime pack yeah let's do it huh Come on. let's see i've never opened one of these before so uh I'm, I'm very curious to see what we can get let's see here so we got oscar sunquist Ooh, Jake Evans, overtime rookie. I like that. We got a Alex DeBrinket, blue. And we got a center of excellence of Johnny T. John Tavares. That's pretty neat. Now, you know me. I'm not a Leafs fan, but that's pretty darn cool. So, there we go. I like that Jake Evans rookie, though. That's nice. That's a nice. Uh, well, luckily I have a team bag here, so any loose stuff I'll just put in the team bag for now. So, that's that fun stuff. Now, you guys ready to see what I picked up? As in cards for today? I hope so. Let me just take a sip of Coke Zero first. Kind of wet my whistle a little bit. <sighs> All right. So, right off the bat, let me just uh, fix everything here. Yeah, okay, so I'm putting these in piles as in who I visit and whatnot. So this first 
stack we have here. We have a Derek Forbort Young Gun, followed by a Brendan Gaunt's Young Gun. I still needed those for my uh, my 1516 set. Now this is friggin' hilarious. Manny Fernandez, 2002 Signature Series. Now you see the back, right? Congratulations, you have received a card personally autographed by the NHL player depicted on the front of this card. There's no autograph on the front of this card. Instead, we get this. Unfortunately, the player depicted on this card was not able to return his autograph cards in time for our pack out. Please send this redemption card to the address below and we will send you an autograph card. Sorry for the inconvenience. I've never seen something like that before and for two bucks I was like, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> and it's Manny Fernandez. He he was like, he was a big name for the wild uh, back in the... In the uh, early 2000s and whatnot so I was like hey what the hell why not and yes we got some more Broder goodness for the PC starting with this OPG Platinum Puck Personas that's from uh, 1617 and we got this number to 599 Broder from 1819 Artifacts yes if I get the chance to add more Broders to my PC, I will. I've uh, low-key got the bug and of seeing these, you know, master collectors or whatever they call them on a Trading Card Database. And I'm like, huh, I still got a ways to go before I'm considered a uh, Broder Super Collector, but I'm, uh, I'm, on the, I'm on the road. I'm heading there. All right, now we got uh, got some more goodies here from another huge kiosk full of stuff. Starting with this, uh, what year is this? 2000 Upper Deck Ultimate Defense of none other than Martin Brother. <laughs> so now you see, there's a three dollar price tag. Every price tag on these cards were 50% uh, off the, the ticket price. So, yeah, that's why I got a nice stack here. So we got Marty Broder. Then we got a Jacob Slavin Young Gun, a Daniel Sprong Young Gun, a Ben Hutton Young Gun, a Matthias Janmark Young Gun, a Mike McCarran Young Gun, and a Michael Mersch Young Gun. Yes. Uh, I'm very, very close to completing my 1516 set. Uh, the only two big young guns I'm missing from this set are, of course, McDavid and um, Miko Rantanen, of, of all players. Uh, I have the Artemi Panarin. I have the, uh, the Miro Heiskanen. I still need Andrew Kopp. I still need Nikolai Ellers, but the big, the big, big names are of course McDavid and uh, and Rantanen. And funny thing about McDavid, this is a big scoop. Uh, I have actually secured a McDavid. I don't have it. I made a deal with uh, the shop I got these cards from because this is actually my local card shop in Montreal. Um, uh, the guy I was dealing with, he was telling me that they, they, uh, they bought a huge collection and there was a raw damaged McDavid in it. It has a slight crease and you can only see it when you hold it up to the light. And, um, they, he made a deal with me. They were going to sell it for four, but they made a deal with me and they said I could have it for three fifty. And I told him, yeah, I'm going to take it. And luckily for me, I don't have to pay the 350 in one shot. 
He said I could do it in installments, which is beautiful. So yes, somewhere in the near future, there will be a Connor McDavid young gun popping up in one of my videos. So, yeah. Yeah, today, today was a good day at the expo. So as I said, we got a Michael Mersch. Got this beautiful Henrik Lundqvist mask card. Followed by this even more beautiful Jacques Plante mask card. And yes, this, they wanted 10 bucks for it. I asked if they would take five. He said, sure, no problem. And then I saw this next card and I was like, okay has a three dollar price tag on it at 50 percent off so that's a buck fifty i uh got me a second year a second year ovechkin i i think that's a pretty damn good uh deal right there so um yeah i may never own an ovechkin rookie or one of his like primo rookies but I'll take a second year Ovechkin for a buck fifty any day. <laughs> and then we finish things off with this little stack. These were all 25 cents a piece. So I got this awesome Jim Kelly celebrity uh, card from, this is what, 90, 92 Pro Set. So this is in the same subset with the the Larry King, the uh, Burt Cum uh, Burton Cummings, the uh, the Fred Rogers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's pretty neat. Got me this Undertaker WWF card. This is from 2006. So actually, no, that's WWE already. Oh, excuse me. I got one of these. Warriors of Ice. This is actually the Martin Brodeur. <laughs> See? Uh, if you remember from my um, my expo videos I did back in November, uh, I actually showed off the, the Henrik Zetterberg from this little subset. So, I got the Brodeur. Got this sweet Topps. I don't know if it's a Topps Chrome or whatever. But I mean, come on, it's Undertaker and Kane, the frickin' Brothers of Destruction, man. Can't go wrong with that. Come on, the Texas Rattlesnake, baby. These are from uh, 2007 WWE Topps Heritage. That's, oh, come on. I uh, got this Michel Goulet. Uh, I needed this card for my in-the-game set, so... That's pretty cool. Uh, found the Zdeno Chera Warriors of Ice card. <laughs> yeah, there's another, there's a couple more, or there's one more coming. Saw this and I was like, ooh, this is from 2016 Panini. It's freaking Gale Sayers, man. Come on. With the bears. Here's the other Warriors of Ice. We got Jerome again. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome again. <Aguilar. laughs> and I saw this. This is for Topps Heritage. And I was just like, yeah, what the hell? Oh, come on. This is Jimmy Stewart. Come on. <laughs> I had to get a Jimmy Stewart card. And then we finish everything off with Undertaker. So, there you go, folks. There's everything I got for day three of the Toronto Sports Card Expo. Now, I'm gonna go piece this video together. I'm gonna make a couple sandwiches, because it's late. Probably watch a bit of tube, head to bed, and then head to the expo in the morning. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as I say at the end of every video, folks, 